um, thank you for, for, for joining us. Uh, let's get straight into our conversation this morning. Uh, you did step down from your position as PF Lusaka Province Youth Chairman. Um, but for the sake of the, of the viewer and for, for just for clarity's sake, let's get into your reasons for this and subsequently leaving this post that you recently got within the party. Well, well I hope I got you very clearly. Um, you are asking us to, the, the reason which relates to my stepping down yes, from my so position we'll in the get, party. Get more details for the sake of the viewer. Uh, your reasons for stepping down from this post and resigning from the party? Well, uh, the reasons for stepping down from my position are purely uh, personal. Uh, they are purely personal. And that at an appropriate time, perhaps, uh, I may uh, be able to share them. But I think for now, they remain personal. Uh, but what is true is that um, I have stepped down from my position as the Rosaka Province Provincial. Uh, youth chairman. Um, I think I will be able to inform the viewer at an appropriate time as what would be my next course of action. Mm. All right. Now let's let's also look at the the patriotic front. Still, I mean, they they are preparing for the convention, which is scheduled to to be in June. But as somebody who's been in the party, obviously before the general election, and also in the party after the loss of the election. You're one man who was quite vocal in terms of what the party could need for it to uh, bounce back and be a formidable force going into the future elections. Uh, based off where you left, do you still see this as the position within the party? Do you think it still has strong chances of being a, f a formidable force to reckon with? Yeah, you are very right that I'm among the people who are very consistent that as to what we needed, I mean, in providing um, solutions as to, as to what we needed to do as a party uh, in order to, I mean, to perpetuate uh, our, our relevancy on the political scene. And one of the things that I was quick to point out is, is that uh, I think there was an urgent need for us to quickly mobilize ourselves and go to the Congress. And I did advance that, uh, uh, look, organization, institutions, and political parties succeed themselves on the basis of leadership. And uh, my, my other argument was also that, look, um, the people of Zambia did not reject, as it were, the party. But it's the leadership is that they rejected at a time. And therefore, as a matter of uh, strategy, it was important that uh, we rebranded ourselves by putting in place or by ushering in a new set of leadership. Because it's, it's nature that sometimes... Uh, after suffering such a humiliating uh, defeat, uh, I mean, uh, our leaders didn't have as much energy to pick up the pieces. And so we needed a, I mean, uh, a new set of leadership with a fresh mandate uh, who, have the, who have the energy to be able to drive the affairs of the party forward. Uh, but I think that was misconstrued. I think uh, some of us who are alleged to have been bought, you know, he's been bought. That's why he's talking in the manner that he's talking. But here we are today. Um, I mean, uh, the reality has dawned. You can see that uh, the level of disorganization now is real within the party, and the, the, the level of dissatisfaction among us, our, our, our members, is well and alive. Uh, and and this, these are some of the things that we could have avoided had we gone the route of the conversion and uh, had we, by now, put in place a new set of leaders. Oh. Following the 2021 general elections, we have seen different members of the party who have left the party, resigned from their positions. Um, uh, I mean, you're not the only one in this case. But this coincidentally happens after a political party has lost power. What, what, what then does this also say about politicians and their loyalty to, to parties? When, when the party loses, they change their, their, their stance. They're longer in, in, in the same uh, agreements with the political party that they once were a member of. Is this what is the case for you as well, that this has also it's got a lot to do with the party losing the elections last year? Look, um, it's, um, I wish that uh, we as PF, we were able to learn something from the other political parties who have gone before us. The challenge we've had uh, in, I mean, uh, as Israel demonstrated, not once, 
uh, by time without numbers, is that, look, every time the, these political parties are voted out of the office, the, the president at the time tends to have a hand as to who becomes the, uh, as to who takes over the president of the party, which will never be the case. We saw it with the, in the, with the with UNIP. Unfortunately, we saw it with the MMD. And here we are, we are seeing the same thing in, in PF. Uh, I think uh, these uh, are some of the lessons we should have been quick to pick as a party in order uh, for us to do things differently. Uh, we saw that when the MMD lost, I mean, uh, unfortunately, I mean, they saw less in peace. Uh, I mean, President Pia Banda tried to, I mean, uh, I mean uh, to, to have a final say as who becomes uh, the president for the MMD. Uh, the same was seen under UNIT. And the same is being seen under uh, PF. What, and that, that alone has made the, the, these parties I mean, uh, disintegrate. Uh, what uh, sh- should have been done is that uh, I mean, the, the, the general membership should, should have been allowed to have a final say as to who becomes their leader moving forward. Because if, 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 if you, as a president, have been voted out of office, I think generally what that means is that uh, the, the, the people have not accepted you. And so you should be able to take a back seat and allow the general membership or others to take up the front seat. That is what is killing these political parties, and that is what is making these political parties, uh, I mean, uh, which has made these political parties uh, unattractive. So it's not a matter of the membership really, I mean, lacking uh, principle or rather not being loyal to their, uh, to, 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 to their party. It's about the parties themselves not being attractive anymore because there's nothing different which they are doing.